हेलो लेडीज एंड जेंटमैन वेलकम बैक टू एक्सोटिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी एंड नाउ वी आर हियर विद द अष्टक वर्ग वीडियो ऑन हाउ टू सी ट्रांजिट्स सो आई हेड मेड मेनी वीडियोस ऑन अष्टक वर्ग एंड यू लाइक्ड इट वेरी मच एंड आई आल्सो लाइक द फैक्ट दैट यू लाइक्ड एंड सम अदर टॉपिक्स आर रिमेनिंग वन इज दिस ट्रांजिट एंड द अदर वन इज हाउ टू सी दशाज but this transit video is very much requested so this comes before the dasha video okay and the next video will be on dashas and here as you can see this is the chart of a libra ascendant and he is one of my very good friends and currently there are some transits going on and we would like to study how to uh, know which transits will give which kind of results in his chart all right and as you always know i keep saying ultimately whatever is there in your dashas will uh, ultimately happen in your life and once you know the dashas then we can merge the transits above the dashas so dashas are like the cake and transit is like the icing so once you have the cake only then you can put the icing so without the cake there is no value of icing you could still eat the icing but it will not satisfy you so therefore first check the dashas always and only then you go to ashtak varga for using transits okay and ashtak varga can be also used to analyze the dashas all right so now let us uh, go to this chart and we will see here that the ascendant has 26 points and the second house has 31 points so i always keep telling that whatever you do whichever area you are analyzing irrespective of that first you should analyze the ascendant that will tell you how the planets are behaving in his chart because whichever planets are having major contributions to the as ascendant of the uh, ascendant of the person uh those things are likely to motivate him always lifelong irrespective of other dashas or transits and as usual if you are new to the channel please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation from me please go down to my description section of the videos where you will find the link to my website to book a reading with me and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him so now let us start with the first house you see here number 7 is libra lagna and when i say 7 don't go 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 to the first house here this is aries okay this you see is libra so go to this you just check the pointer and now you check what is going on so here uh, moon is a 10th lord giving lots of points and the lagna lord which is venus is also contributing 5 points and saturn has quite number of points saturn contributing 4 points is very prominent okay and you see saturn also contributes 6 points in some other houses the second house and the eighth house that these are very prominent houses for saturn so what is going on so now currently his 10th lord uh, sorry not currently in his ascendant i mean uh, his 10th lord is contributing maximum and his lagna lord so that means uh, this person will always want to have his independent profession whenever the lagna lord and the 10th lord are linked the person always always wants to have his independent profession he does not like to work under somebody he likes to have his own consulting or a uh, own business or he likes to do collaborations but he wants to keep his identity intact in his career he wants lot of name and fame so but the thing is uh, although these two are uh, lords of the lagna and the 10th house but inherently these two are watery planets always remember moon and venus are watery planets so because of that uh, this is a very tricky situation because watery planets make you very lazy and they don't uh, or i would say they they want to get things easily okay so they are not very much competitive in nature they don't like to be in a circums in a situation where they have to fight too much or they have to struggle too much so this is like saying the person wants to 
have his own profession but also doesn't want to keep struggling there always so he will choose professions where he can uh, get more success easily and he will also like to do things uh, in his profession which are linked to these planets okay so for example moon and venus which means he could be he could be wanting to do things related to liquids because both of them re represents liquids and venus also represents the cows because taurus is the sign of the bull and moon also represents the cows and therefore without looking at the chart without looking at his dashas without looking at anything else you can directly come to a conclusion that uh, anything to do with cows will be very important for this person and this person always uh, currently he is working but he is also going to uh, resign from his work very soon and he is going to start his own uh, uh, cow protection farm okay where he will uh, protect cows from getting slaughtered and uh, he will uh, help them uh, and protect them and he has somehow raised a lot of capital also for that so that is like going to be his full time profession so just by the two planets we could come to this conclusion now of course moon and venus represent so many other things all right so which aspects of moon and venus will become prominent in his chart uh, well that will depend on where moon and venus are placed okay so now in his chart there are multiple indications that he will be into towards uh, cow protection and farming why because moon in his chart you can't see it here but moon is in pisces in his sixth house okay in the sign of pisces in revati nakshatra which is also uh, meant for protection of animals and all this okay so this is something which is very important so this is like the defining axis of his life all right the lagna the 10th house and the 6th house so now you know the focal areas of this person the focus points and if you see the lagna lord which is venus venus is contributing seven freaking points to the sign of taurus uh, so sorry to his second house which is the sign of scorpio you see you see this number eight seven points for venus and scorpio is the sign of uh, scorpio has many signs one of the signs is you know bloodshed and you know tears and suffering so he feels very strongly when he sees others suffering so he wants to pull others out of suffering okay and he also has a Ju exalted jupiter in his 10th house jupiter is in cancer in 10th house in his chart which is fabulous in pushya nakshatra which also represents the other udder of the cow so these uh, things can give you a lot of indication okay and uh, second house as you see scorpio is the second house so he is very much uh, family oriented you see and he always likes to uh, keep others as his family everybody like a family so venus has uh, the maximum contribution of venus is in the second house you see venus has all these points and seventh house uh, number point um, point seven points is for the second house which is scorpio and that means this uh, this concept of protecting animals is coming from his family itself all right and his uh, father was a very big inspirational figure in his life and uh, his mother also to to a large extent and both of them had motivated him that you should uh, go and you know protect animals and especially cows and other animals also so this is how you know what is the defining axis of the person's life so now if you go to the transits you will know which transits will trigger what kind of events so for example currently jupiter is transiting his second house so we second house uh, is the sign scorpio so jupiter is in scorpio till 5th of november 2019 and today is 3rd october so just see that his venus which is his lagna lord has immense contribution to the sign of scorpio so that means this transit of jupiter will have a very 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 prominent say in his life 
and if you see the word chart for astak varga for jupiter you will see jupiter has again seven contribution seven points to cancer which is his 10th house and to pushya nakshatra because uh, jupiter is pushya in pushya in his chart and therefore we can understand that uh, this transit of jupiter which is in scorpio currently will be a very important transit for him all right and because jupiter is also the lord of the 6th house and the 3rd house so that means he will see the lords of the houses i mean the houses which are planet lords is like the resources which the uh, planet or the responsibilities or the agenda of the planet okay and the house where it sits is like the resources which he has to uh, fulfill the agenda of those houses so now that means uh, jupiter's agenda is to do with the 6th house where his original moon is placed in revati nakshatra jupiter is the 6th lord and the 3rd lord transiting in the house of family so that means now his family will totally inspire him jupiter is inspiration also uh, his family will inspire him to uh, change his profession and take into this uh, animal uh, protection full time all right and this is what he is going to do and he has already formalized and i am very sure um, till the time jupiter is in scorpio for the next uh, one month i would say exactly one month one month two days he will he would have formalized all of his uh, he would have done all the homework and by the time jupiter enters sagittarius which is again his third house he will be uh, he will be starting to execute his plans okay and <coughs> jupiter always remember wherever wherever jupiter is transiting you you first check the astak varga points for jupiter he will always carry the flavor of those houses to do, to do, those houses where he is transiting so now you see here Jupiter is contributing seven points to his first to his seventh house to Aries, which is his seventh house. Then he also contributes seven points to his tenth house. Then he contributes six points to his fourth house. Okay, so that means uh, Jupiter has an agenda of marriage, then career, and then something to do with fourth house, homeland, motherland, or mother or property. These kind of things and. just recently this person had called me that uh, his his marriage has also been finalized or he's almost about to finalize his marriage and therefore he was just asking me about the matching of the horoscopes with uh, his uh, fiance but the thing is why is this happening see because jupiter is having very high contribution to the 7th house so now second house is the current house where jupiter is transiting so we know the houses of marriage are 2 7 and 11 so that means now the the planet jupiter which has a which has a very strong say or wants to focus on the seventh house because in his original astakavaka chart he has seven points is now moving to his house of family which is second house so now it's like a uh, lot of possibilities has opened for him from last year and now his marriage is also finalized and uh, now when jupiter enters sagittarius from where he will aspect his 7th house uh, aries he might also get married i mean he will get married of course and also he shifted his career during this time he he i mean almost he is going to shift so now you see jupiter is also contributing 7 points to the 10th house where cancer is okay so these are so that means when jupiter transits the second house his family will act as a trigger for his married life and his career why because jupiter is indicating focus in these two houses okay and originally also jupiter is lord of the 6th house and 3rd house so that can also have an effect 6th house is also job okay 
and uh, now if you see jupiter has six points to capricorn which is his fourth house and therefore jupiter will also want to fulfill the agenda of the fourth house through the second house so that means now what has happened fourth house is the home okay so home so it's like saying the agenda of the home will be fulfilled by the family now what does this mean this means that the family could tell him to come back to his homeland so now he's originally from a village and now he has gone back to his village or he will be going back to his village very soon once he is uh, once he has finalized his uh, uh, this animal protection farm there and after that he will also get married there so there you see how how the fourth house is playing uh, is being satisfied i mean the fourth house has become active so he's returning to his homeland now within uh, in india it it actually holds importance here very, very much because where he was born and where his village is and where he is currently working he is currently working in an it company is very 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 far he is born somewhere down i mean in extreme northern part of india and currently he is working as a software developer uh, in hyderabad so now when for a north indian to leave everything and go back to his home is almost like saying the person has returned to his homeland it it is almost like saying that so there you see the agenda of jupiter where jupiter wants to focus the house of marriage career and homeland so now the second house is acting like a trigger for all these houses okay and now the next thing what you should do is you should go and check what is going on in the second house so go to scorpio here okay so you are seeing this scorpio here scorpio is 31 points so now you check sun has 5 points moon 3 mars 2 then mercury 3 then jupiter 5 then venus is contributing 7 and saturn is contributing 6 points this is like this is this is really a very serious house for saturn when saturn is contributing 6 points to some houses or to any house that is a really that means saturn wants some serious business there okay so now you see saturn is the fourth lord and he's the fifth lord he's the yoga karaka and he is also born with shasha mahapurush yoga in his chart because he has saturn in capricorn in own sign so he has jupiter exalted his sun is exalted in Aries and his Saturn is in own sign. So three very, very, very powerful planets in Kendra. Extremely powerful chart he has. And now if you see Saturn originally is contributing six points. So that means the fourth lord contributes heavily to the second house. So that means his family, which is the second house, will also always uh, want that he comes and stays with them or the family will always try to pull him i mean not in a negative or in a bad or financially uh, positive or i mean not in a quantitative sense but that is how the transits will affect him and now if you see uh, saturn has six points six contribution there and saturn is also the lord of the fifth house of children so that means his family will also uh, push him towards having children very quickly after marriage so that that is how you know and because jupiter is transiting here now then uh, jupiter can also activate these houses by transit and of course jupiter is going to leave and go to his third house and uh, if you see uh, his current third house what is going on so now jupiter will enter his third house and then uh, in january 2020 saturn will enter his fourth house saturn is going to enter capricorn so then if he asks me uh, what is going to happen so let us check what is going to happen and before going to this one thing i forgot to mention here is if you see the second house you see venus has maximum contribution which is the lagna lord okay and venus is also representing uh, women and ladies so that means uh, when jupiter transits second house uh, he might also get married because jupiter is the significator of marriage he is the karaka for sorry venus is the significator of marriage and ladies so he might get married and he is going to get married very soon 
and uh, venus is also the lagnesh so he himself is involved in all this okay so this second house transit of jupiter has been very impactful and he said that this last one year has had completely changed his life totally and apart from that if you see uh, his th third house which is sagittarius venus hardly has any contribution there venus is only one point there so that means uh, he doesn't like to travel and that's very true he wants to stay in one place he doesn't like much change he wants to stay wherever he is and he's not very much interested to keep having short distance travels again and again okay he's not at all interested in doing that but is he interested in long distance travel ninth house gemini well uh, venus is interested to some extent and what about virgo foreign travel again not interested at all you see only two points so venus is very much interested in the second house of family so he wants to stay with the family and now look at the fourth house four points and children six points so he's very much interested in staying with his family his homeland his mother and his and his future children so uh, these are very important houses for venus as the lagna lord and if you check other planets so for example mars so currently uh, mars is transiting his 12th house because mars has just entered virgo some days before so you check first what is the agenda of mars so you check this numbering of mars and mars has six points to his fourth house and uh, to his 11th house mars has a contribution of five points so primarily the agenda of mars is to take him back to homeland because capricorn is his fourth house so now uh, very soon he is thinking of traveling because mars is in the house of 12th house of travel so he is going to travel back to his homeland okay so now you may travel anywhere you may travel to your uh, workplace from your homeland or you might travel uh, anywhere i mean for education anywhere okay so that's what is the uh, agenda of mars and if you see mars is the lord of the second house and the seventh house for a libra lagna and second lord contributing six points ma majority to the uh, fourth house is all again very auspicious for marriage seventh house contributing uh, very much to the fourth house is also very auspicious for marriage so that shows that he will be focused towards his family and his home and his property his land and what about other factors like spirituality and transits using spirit i mean uh, spirituality using transit so so if you check uh, his trinal lords are mark saturn and mercury so his saturn if you check his saturn saturn has contributed six points to his eighth house which is taurus which is really very crucial because saturn is giving six points and uh, saturn is least interested in the 12th house of virgo so that means if he asks should i go to foreign countries or will i will my spiritual life improve i would say no no don't go just stay there and uh, fourth house has again four points from saturn which is very prominent and therefore we need to suggest this person that you should stay close to your family okay and your eighth house which has six points is also your in-law so your it could be possible that his, his in-laws are also very spiritual people okay or he finds a very spiritual girl or his uh, the girl's father could be or mother could be very spiritual if not the entire family so this is from the perspective of the fifth lord so therefore you can tell that when prominent planets transit uh, his eighth house or his second house then he could have spiritual progress there and then let's take uh, his ninth lord mercury so mercury if you go to mercury you will see mercury has quite high points for the fourth house and the fifth house this is fantastic for spiritual progress because fourth house is the house of education also and fifth house is the house of mantra diksha guru and all these things okay reading the scriptures higher intelligence that's what is the fifth house 
and mercury also has six points to the 11th house so that means you can directly tell the person go and join some spiritual community near your homeland near the place where you are born and your spiritual life will bloom like anything and this is what he is doing now and he is very soon going to uh, go and join some uh, big spiritual community which is there in his village and he is extremely happy about all this and he is delighted that he is ready to make this shift in his career, his life, his marriage and he is very happy and this is how you know that uh, how which transits will affect him okay so now for example if he asks uh, how uh, what about spiritual progress so you can tell him uh, when prominent planets are transiting his 11th house he can go and uh, meet some spiritual people there okay and because it's mercury so he may he is inclined towards worship of lord vishnu very much because and because he's jupiter is also exalted in cancer so he is also into uh seeing bhajans very much okay absorption in spiritual life so these are some of the ways by which you can learn and prominently for spiritual life his fourth house is very beneficial and the 11th house also all right so these are ways by which you can know when which transits will affect us in what ways the slow moving planets and the faster planets like mercury sun venus mars all right and similarly we can check for rahu and ketu also so for rahu ketu rahu has currently entered his ninth house in transit so his ninth house has 22 points and if you check the sign of gemini you see these points here and jupiter has quite some contribution so the third house is involved so he also likes to talk about spirituality and since the time rahu has entered he has somehow started talking about spirituality and in his original birth chart, his Rahu is in the third house in Sagittarius. So it's like Rahu is transiting over his natal Ketu and Ketu is transiting over his natal Rahu. Okay. So Rahu is originally in Sagittarius in his chart. And Ra if you see Sagittarius, you see again Jupiter has uh, five points there. Okay. So he Jupiter is third lord, sixth lord. So Jupiter will uh, give him a tendency to talk about it can be sixth house you know it can be animal protection because sixth house is also pet so he likes to talk about all these issues and uh, he's a very big supporter of uh, like vegetarian food and why you should not kill animals you know animals have life life is sacred so th these kind of things you can see and of course there are uh, multiple uh, hundreds and thousands of uh, reasons why this person is very spiritual and he's into protecting animals but we can keep discussing about them one after the other we can go using different dasha systems also right there you go if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is interested to know about ashtak varga and uh, if you want a consultation from me then you could go down to the description section of my videos where you will find the link to my website okay god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him thank you very much